official. Next month in July, I've decided to enter a half marathon race and I'm going to be running that race in a pair of Crocs. So after the success of my 10K in a pair of Crocs, not only from the amount of views that I got, which I'm really overwhelmed with, but also I had so much fun that day and I just want to have another go, but not the 10K. I'm going to up the distance and I'm going to have a go at the half marathon. So not only am I training for a mountain marathon, I'm also going to be training for a half marathon a few weeks after. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to do yet, which half marathon I'm going to do, purely because I just need to see how I'm going to recover from the marathon. And on my last trail running video, I asked for you to have a guess at what time you think I'd run this 10k in at Ulster in my pair of Crocs. And Peter, well done, you were the closest. You guessed 44 minutes and 30 seconds. And this was only 30 seconds slower than an all out effort that I did at Draycott 10k at the start of the year. And I was wearing the Tempo Next Percent. So it's crazy to think that there was virtually no difference in my pace, yet I'd gone from my best trainers all the way down to things that are not even classed as trainers, crocs on my feet. So what I've decided to do from now until the half marathon is that I'm going to take one of my runs per week and I'm going to train in my crocs just to get my feet used to them and I know that they're okay and that they fit well and 10k proves that they're not going to fall off but just so that my feet can maybe harden a little bit because they're going to be in them for quite a long time and although I did get one blister on the 10k I'm just hoping that I'm not going to do too much damage to my feet also I was really lucky that I never felt like I was picking up any kind of injuries or niggles no problems whatsoever because if I did then I'd definitely stop because this is just purely for fun not here to do any damage to my feet or my legs or put any of my other running in jeopardy. I'm just here to have a good time and enjoy the running in a slightly different direction or angle than anything that I've ever done before. So for today's run, or for this week's running my Crocs, I'm off to Park Run and I'm about to have a go at my 5k. I'm wearing my silver Crocs today and seeing how I get on with them. Oh my god! That was quick! <laughs> it's not cool. Really? You've got a new box? Yeah, it's, it's my new hobby. 
so that's now two 5Ks and one 10K done in a pair of Crocs. And I have to say, I think I prefer the silver Crocs, although I was a bit dubious about wearing them for the 10K. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with them today. Much better fit on my feet and a lot more secure as well. Although the red ones didn't fall off, there were moments that I felt like I had to screw my toes up just to make sure that they were staying in place. But yeah, I think these are now my new favourite, although I did quite like the red colour. But no, definitely impressed with these silver ones. I've also picked myself up the very first edition of a new Parkrun magazine, so I'll get to have a look at that later on today. So if you want to find out how my training progresses, not only for my Midsummer Malvern Marathon, but also my weekly training run in Crocs, ready for an attempt at a half marathon at some point in July. Keep watching the channel and you will definitely find out. And one last thing before I go today, if you haven't already seen it, I was interviewed last month by Paul from his running channel, Dev Runner, and that's now gone up on his channel. So if you want to find out a little bit more about my history of running, a bit more about who I am, my future goals, then if you head over to his channel, you'll be able to see that interview that we did. So thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're looking forward to some future Croc Runner content and catch you next time. Bye. I need to have a close, not that, I need to have a run on the map.